All right, we're going into the next game. I'm going to take this away. We've got Contox and Wannabe X on the Hunter disc here. This is an explosive matchup. I think the Hunter's favored, but it can go either way. I've spoke about this before. Um, essentially, both teams can send it if we get some pressure on the Hunter. We might trinket the first trap. We do because we need the pressure. We can't get the poly quite yet. We trinket. We fake the death. We do. I don't think we did actually. Um, and this is a piss poor opener for any purposes. And. Yeah, we are essentially getting fucked here, Zay. What do you think? Uh, I think that maybe we didn't wake up on the right side of bed this morning. Now, the Hunter is doing a lot of damage, gets a silent shot up. Actually, readiness is for the second silencing shot, I believe. Not sure if that was the right plan. It has only got one deterrence now, which could come in for a bad time for him. The Priest playing well behind the pillar, just spamming that dispel. Any person knows that if you're a good healer, all you do is press the spell. You don't actually heal. River has to use his block here. It's not going to get MD'd. I don't think there's no reason to do it. It comes out of it instantly. The Hunter is still taking some damage. Lands a silent shot onto Riv and trying to get him low fear. Also lands onto Riv at the fear. is also on the Priest. Contact only has one deterrence from this point and he pops it, which means he is fair game for any burst that comes after this point. Uh, River's still sitting about 50%. We have to pop the PS. PS popped by the enemy priest as well with a freedom onto the hunter, trying to get away from the situation. Scatterlands with the trap. Rib does dock. The oh. Shadow Fiend takes it. The Shadow Fiend is the player of the game. The little macro micro management from Ryan takes it into his path and we are still alive because of that. Fear lands onto Ryan now with the Viper Sting. We're going for the mana game at this point. Rib takes some damage. Polymorph is not going to land. It does actually land onto his pet, I believe. Polywolf onto the pet. Good times. We like that. Little holding over to get rid of the snakes. And it could be over very soon with this polymorph. But there's this huge polymorph as well. There's no trinket. There's no silencing shot. We just have to pump the hunter here. We're getting to a scatter. Probably a trap to follow. Apparently not. But Reeve is taking so much damage. We get the fear off the poly though. And because we're in a block, we are quite much chilling. There's another fear. We need to get a re-poly. Hopefully. The hunter's trying to line for the life of him. Tries to first aid. There's the second poly. We get a shield off, come again, get up, and he's down. Wow. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. That could have gone either way. We are completely out of mana. The Shadow Fiend eats on the trap. This is straight out of Hydra 8, I believe. Um, he hasn't been too washed up, it seems, <laughs> even though everyone else would believe that. Um, and yeah, that was great. That was a great game. Oh, I just Alex. don't know. It's like, where do you draw the line? It's hard, man. I feel like yeah, he's done no, well, man. right? He's done well. He's got res. No, he's, doing, he's doing well. He's doing well. He's doing well. I don't know, mate. We'll, we'll let it play out. I like benefits. And, and yeah, we're going into the next game. We're going to not go into technicals here because we are indeed abiding by the rules. And so it's benefits. Benefits is trying to volley out potentially double rogue Ooh. game. Oh, he gets one. It is double rogue, unfortunately. So it is a null and void because I was passing oh, off the Time waste. No, no leader of the pack available. So it is indeed just completely fucked. But meanwhile, Zay has been practicing his stand-up comedy, I've heard, as of late. So, Zay, mate, do you want to take it away? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't need to do stand-up comedy when there's a couple of jokes in the arena, mate. So, uh, Venefist is going to go down. It is what it is. Double Rogue, go next. Yep. He does have Cloak. Ryan is trying to do, again, Hydra 13 montage shit. Um, he's going to Cloak. He's going to die. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's just awkward all around. Um, he's going to press Cloak. What the fuck am I watching? <laughs> See ya! I don't know what to say. <laughs> he has cloak vanish. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? Hello? I mean, this is just, this is feed. This is what this is what creates stigmas though, because it feeds into the the image that double. Oh, rogue this guy's players. an owner though. This guy. Um, double rogue players can't play the game. Nice little shadow step kid. Oh, but then he the, heals uh, into band uh, the DP. I don't know. Unlucky. I mean, stealths before last tick. Big red. The last tick. Question mark? Can we res from here? Oh my god, we can, dude. <laughs> Holy you shit. Get the Holy right shit, now. dude. There's no way. Here he comes. Oh. We get the dot on. I mean, I think this is just... We got cloak up, though. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, this game doesn't count either way. So don't get your hopes up, even though we have an absolute fucking shit fest on our hands all around. Um, there's the cloak. I think we should just kill him right here. Uh, there's, there's just no way Holy Novus will come out and the rogue is just... MISS! And this is just the most awkward loss I've ever seen by Double Rogue. Um, but even though it doesn't count as a win, we always appreciate Double Rogue going down by literally <laughs> not pressing any button in the game for yeah, no get, reason at all. Get their names up on screen. We've got Dualistic and SBMS um, going into the notepad of absolute shame. Give them a damn yeah. vote, boys.
Oh my god, this is the priest, priest hunter mirror, by the way. Right into the priest hunter mirror. Um, mirror matchup, seeing if Venefis can handle this here. Um, moment, not much happening. Hunter running in is going to run onto multiple traps. Uh, pet takes them all, actually. Good tanking by the pet. We've got the Royal Sacrifice onto the Hunter. Try avoid some damage, and we are Viper stinging it up. I believe this is a um, uh, Marksman versus Survival, if I am not mistaken. I think um, you're Pinter totally correctly. Pinter lands onto Venefis, so he cannot eat his trap. Ryan checks out of it instantly. The Terence is also used a lot of cooldowns. Um, used at present. I don't think we have another Terence to survive. I think it is a one and done -zo. So any CC lands onto Ryan now and they could be a lot of trouble. Still double trinket available for the Priest Hunter. I think Benefis could be in a world of trouble here if I am not wrong. But Adrian, take from here. You yeah, know, absolutely. I mean, we're a trinket down, we're a Terence down. We haven't got a fear because Ward is still available. There's the Terence that we fear into the fear ward, which is actually good news. And I don't know who the fuck was... Uh, yeah, anyway. I think the trap was just thrown into the bin by the enemy hunter, if I'm not mistaken. He's dead! So He's I dead. don't know what the death, fuck man. just happened there, mate. What is going on in this Big game? Big death, death on the scanner. It was glorious, I saw that. I did do a clean clean little movement here, mate. A clean little movement? We didn't see that, um, but VAR can confirm it. In this case, being Stu Brand. Yeah, um, um, uh, as a priest who does, you know, death one blind per season, I can confirm that he did yep. indeed death the scanner. That is indeed amazing stuff. We're gonna go into an Ellie. Uh, gonna go into an Ellie Holy Paladin. Uh, I have no fucking idea, to be honest, how this matchup works. Yeah, this is a weird but one. I do believe, I do believe the Hunter Priest should be favoured um, by default. But let's find out if that is the case, as we should be able to oom the Paladin sooner or later. Um, but yeah, I've actually no idea. Zay, what do you think? Um, well, we've got a Holy Paladin and Shaman. I would start the timer personally, but we're gonna <laughs> see how this goes holy paladin elemental shaman is an absolute khaki com i don't usually see tauren shamans though and i kind of respect that you know just running around do you feel like, you feel like uh, bukaki is a oxford dictionary kind of description of this company uh, i feel like bukaki describes most of the shit i see in arena to be honest mm. uh, but the shaman is going to is going to drop a bit here um you know he's just doing his thing paladin is playing pve uh thinks he's on algalon just gonna stand 40 yards and spam those heels uh shaman yeah, knocking a few things about, casting a hex. He's gonna land. Are we gonna trinket it for the fear? We're just gonna run. Nah, after we're, him. we're we're just gonna run, 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 run after him. Scroll. Can we get a little trinket on, on shift off, mate? Um, uh, we don't need that. But they are doing some pump here. Benefits taking some damn mad to the brain. But the shaman is also gonna drop very low. We're resisting lands onto the paladin. Gets dispelled by the shaman. Lovely stuff to see that he does have that on his bars. Get a kick onto Ryan. And uh, there could be some trouble here with the Love Burst landing, but it's not going to go in. <sighs> pet dropping very, very low. Pot pet might actually go down. We get a wind shit again, and the pet is out of here. They have targeted him. They have taken it out. And now it's just a case of running after the hunter, pressing W, and seeing where they can go. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is a very awkward one because we don't have a pet anymore. Um, the, the CC chains will really land reliably uh, because we have Cleansing Totem. We have Tremor for the Fears. We are doing some good pressure here, though. 2% Bob comes in out of fucking nowhere because apparently Venefist has decided and not today trying to send the Shaman into the bin. Lesser Healing Wave comes in as well. He is not caring about the past currently. He is caring about keeping himself alive. He doesn't have a thousand dollars on the line because he is playing um, Ellie Holy Paladin so he does have nothing really on the line. Um, as I mean, of sadness. I mean, he's, soul, oh. he's, soul, he's soul stone, so there really is nothing on the line at all. Oh, but there is one win on the line regardless. There is one win. If he wins the game, the Soulstone is you just win, right? So it's we get the plea as well here, and we have you Shadow Fiend, by the way. So we are currently looking to win the Mana War. We don't have a pet, obviously, but maybe that's not too relevant. We try to death the Hex. What the fuck was this? Was that a rocket from a? Frog? It was. It was. It was a frog rocket. Frog it. It was a frog that came in nice and hot. And the Suez with the double rogues, and Zay is going to take it away. And this is his favorite comp. Um, um, hold on, I'm just, VAR's checking something quickly. Okay, VR, we're going to take yeah, it away VR's checking something. VR is checking something, but we are going oh to go goodness. back into the game. Um, and we Ooh. are probably into Double Rogue. There's, no, it's Feral Rogue, so it's a valid match, ladies and gentlemen. It's a valid match, we are opening onto the Hunter here. Uh, the Feral Rogue, there's a Cloak, there's the Zerk. 
I don't know who they're going for. They're going for a Hydra. It does seem there's a dance as well. We are kiting very well though. The Rogue literally puts the dance in the bin. The Frost Trap is very effective here. Full Blind comes in, but the Rogue is essentially just fucking dead already. Um, and there's no dance. Um, so I don't see a way we're going to choke this one, if I'm being quite honest. Um, there's the leave on the Rogue. He is absolutely fuming with himself. Ten wins. Ten wins. We Still better see a fight, good okay? It's not happening at all. We are waiting for the open. Casually waiting for the Ferrami. And I do believe the Priest Hunter is extremely favoured in this matchup. Um, there's, <laughs> there's a legitimately no fucking way you lose this as, as Priest Hunter. Um, so I'm expecting benefits to go all the way here, unless Caddy and unnamed Stealth Feral does something unnamed. Um, and yeah, absolutely. We are on route to Lordran, which is also a great map for Hunter. Uh, so I don't believe uh, benefits should have any issue taking this home. Anything happening yet, or can I still take? Can I stay tapped? Yeah, as well? yeah you, you, you can. You can stay tapped, mate. Another prime snub. That's news. That's big news. Yeah, we've got a few primes coming out. Best stream of the year comes in from Pauksek Sam. Pauk and Sam. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, how much do I have to donate realistically to get a Finnish commentation? Ooh. I mean, I mean I'm not we're a... into the game. Everyone, stop talking. The oh. feral has opened up. Gets the predator. Swift as well, does not get the clone, tries to hard cast it. Not going to work out for him, dropping loads of the hunter. Now, Rapid Fire comes out, trying to get some damage. Berserker is out as well, trying to get some pump onto him. We get the Whippers thing onto the priest. He has used his fear, he has used his paints up, he's used everything. And the Pharaoh is just going to go to 40% health from a big heal that came out. There must have been survival instincts as well. Fear Ward is going to time out in four seconds. We don't even need to worry about spelling it because we <laughs> it's the last him. fucking time out. And he gets feared, and the Pharaoh is going to take some damage here. Benefit is getting out with a disengage, gets Feral Charge onto. Is there a bash? There is not. I think it is. Oh, there is a bash. This has to sit at the priest is desperately trying to heal him. But can he get him up? The Divine Hymn comes out, gets scattered instantly on it. Predator Swiftness. Benefit is dropping quite low here, but it's going to be okay. And Bertha is just taking continual pump. The orange dog's coming at his hunter are too much. We drop the paints up onto Venefis, gets instantly cloned on top of it, getting some spells onto the priest. We get feared, we will it, and we fear him back, and I think this might be the end for Beth. Jesus Christ, this was a messy game. On all accounts. On all I'm accounts. Okay, dude, okay, dude. And we're Ooh, the game. Pretty, pretty good. Big day. According to Darius, this is an easy comp, so I'm hoping for a quick victory, pops the MS early, gives the Paladin out, I believe there's going to be a strang of this quite early, strang comes in onto the Paladin along with the Gargoyle, gets grip down here, can he get a grip onto the Paladin, I believe he's already used it, so that means that it's just Ryan and the Gargoyle versus the Paladin, which will come out stronger, the good one comes out into the bubble, bubble gets emptied into a fear, Ryan is just toying with this Paladin now, taking his emotions and taking him out, that one, 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 absolutely, Gog OP, by the way. <laughs>